Oh, we're back. Oh, yes. Look, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've got one of those fabulous new segments that is it's so popular. Brisbane is raving about it. People are getting married. People are getting divorced. People are getting back together again. It's all good, Stroker, don't you think? Hmm. Yes, positive. And of course, we're talking about Queensland's top psychological engineer, her love therapist, man guru. What do we call her these days? I don't know. It's all the same to me. Madam Destiny, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Sir Charles. Today, kissing is the most underrated personal, interpersonal activity. And uh, so kissing is about one's lips being put against another person's or an object. And one can kiss out of passion, out of duty, out of friendship, out of respect. There are so many ways one can kiss. So let's start with one of the things that I find so totally, I guess, curious in, in my profession is that some people seem to think that kissing is only related to when you're dating or when you're first married and then after you've been married for a while, kissing stops. Well, that's sad if that's the case, but then it's horses for courses, everybody will do what they want to do. But kissing in itself is such a yummy activity. Sir Charles, what, what is it? Yes. attention, yes. What we is are it, discussing Charles? kissing. Face suction. L'amour, l'amour, <laughs> senor. Face suction. Face suction, is uh, it right? Another face suction. Last thing I face sucked was a pizza last night. That was bit romantic. What do you think, Stroker? Well, Harley Davidson the other week. You suck well, started a Harley Davidson? <laughs> yes, I know he sucks started a Harley Davidson. I don't think kissing is doing that, which is face suction. <laughs> kissing is mmm, that kind of thing. It's what? Mmm. What do you mean? Show us how you kiss. Mm. Put on the, give well, the viewers and put you your tongue do it out. with somebody or even by yourself, but even with a little baby, it's just a... You can't kiss a baby. Them. What sort of... On the cheek. Look, just put, give them a sweet show us, little show kiss. Us, show us your action. Put your tongue out, out and just show what you're talking no, about. No, that's a French kiss and you don't do French kiss. Give us a French kiss on Kelly. Go on. Go on, Madam Destiny. Give us a French no. kiss. Oh, well, it's, no, it's just who, fine. Who wants put to your kiss mouth your tummy or put your tongue in your mouth? Anyway. Or something? Well, no. Can you see what I mean? Okay, well, what I, am I dealing with here? I don't know what you're dealing with here. So um, we're going to come back very shortly. Um, we've got to cut to a small commercial break soon and we're going to get some questions from viewers this week. Thank you. So what is the best kiss you've had? The best kiss I've had? Um... Well, it was recently, um, it was cold on a winter night and we were having this massive bonfire in my friend's backyard and this guy was kind of perfect and it just kind of happened. I was sitting on his lap and yeah, we just started making out. It was lovely. What are the worst kisses you've ever had? Um, well, my first boyfriend, it was our first make out and needless to say, it was very awkward and embarrassing. What kind, like, was it sloppy and... Very sloppy. <laughs> Very prolonged and just awkward. Have you ever tried the Spider-Man kiss? Uh, don't lie. I don't know what that is. Really? Oh, no, no, yeah, the upside, the oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah. alright, mind blank, mind blank. Ever tried it? Yes. And? Yeah, it was not too bad. It was kind of weird. Have you ever tried the Spider-Man kiss? No. Yes. <laughs> was it weird? It was alright, it was kind of... It doesn't work too well, to be honest, but it was cute. What would you con constitute as your worst kiss? <laughs> Alright, so my worst kiss I can give from personal experience was um, a good friend. He was another good friend of mine, and he was all teeth. It was nothing but <laughs> teeth. <laughs> and, yeah, so it wasn't even, like, like, a little bit. It was just, like, there was nothing there but just just biting and I'm like I'm like you gotta stop you just have to stop and he's like why well, like having such a good time like I'm I'm not food I'm a woman so don't bite me and then I'm just like I'm gonna I'm gonna go and then just wipe, wipe my face <laughs> God. Oh, oh, we're back. Well, very good. Uh, yes, we're back again uh, for the riveting section of Madam Destiny's kissing section. Madam Destiny, we've had some questions this week. So, uh, I'm thinking, um, Dr. Stroker, would you like to read some of the questions out? I think it's fantastic that people are getting so into this show. Well, thanks very much. That's very nice of you to say so. So I'll slip that $20 later on for saying that. <laughs> Dr. Stroker, questions coming up from well, well, Madam well, Destiny. We'll ask one question here. <clears throat> I've always loved kissing, but lately the lips, and by the way, it says Dear Destiny. Dear Destiny, that's it. Yes, I've sir. always loved kissing, but lately the lips of my dearly beloved feel cold and unresponsive. 
should I say something or just go on as if, if everything is normal? And that is signed, sincerely, Rex Hunt. Rex, you have a show on the program and why it's cold is because they're fish. So everybody keep watching the Rex Hunt show and let's get on to the next question. Well, I'll get on to the next question, absolutely. Where was I? Uh, God, I feel a bit sleepy, don't know why. Here we go. Uh, my partner has a dog who licks in a very sloppy way and my partner kisses in a sloppy way as well. I can't stand his saliva everywhere when we kiss. I don't blame her. Do you have any suggestions because we both like kissing? Yes, I do have some suggestions. And it is everybody's responsibility to swallow their own saliva. It's not your partner's job to swallow your saliva. I mean, they've got their own saliva to swallow. So it's very difficult when one is kissing. This is an interpersonal activity and a hygiene and taking care of yourself in ways that Sir Charles obviously doesn't right now is really important for each of us to enhance your kissing. And the next question is going to take us into enhancing your kissing. What is the next question, Sir Charles? <laughs> I'm just choked at the gin. <laughs> we'll have to come back after this break. I'm very sorry about that. Very good news, Trucker. The gin is here. Very good. Marvellous. Bottom up. Bottoms up, our boy. Yes. Very good indeed. So, Sir Charles, it says here in the paper, another big fight last night at the Queen Street Mall. Do tell. Shocking, really. Apparently, a group of huge slugs attacked a garden snake near a pub. The garden snail was rushed to hospital for surgery. Shocking stuff. You say the snail was rushed to hospital for surgery? Yes. yes. Uh, and attacked by two slugs in Queen Street Mall? That's right. Did they get a description of the slugs? Unfortunately not. It all happened too fast for the snail. <laughs> oh, we're back, we're back. Okay, we're back, uh, Madam Destiny. We've got a few more questions uh, before we wrap up, so over to you, Dr. Stroker. Madam Destiny, Margaret from The Gap. Dear Destiny, I was French kissing my partner with toffee in our mouths. The toffee got stuck together and we couldn't break free for one hour. I love my partner very much, but cannot bring myself to talk to him about this incident. What should I do? Margaret, sometimes we do have some embarrassing experiences with our partners, and it's better to just uh, bring it up and to take it to another level. And another level is, I would like to invite <laughs> you guys to take a look at maybe uh, when you're kissing, Maybe if, if you like toffee, then you would obviously like possibly dark chocolate. Now, dark chocolate, 70% plus cacao, would be absolutely wonderful for you because while you're getting passionate and hot under the collar, uh, which is raising your blood pressure, the cacao has a flavoid called epicectin in it. And so it, <laughs> epicectin. Oh, thanks for telling us that. Yes. I'm worried about that. And so it epicectin. lowers. Sorry, Jules, epicectin. Look for that when you get home later on. Very important. It lowers your blood pressure. So while it's rising and it's falling, it's kind of, it gives you a chance to just continue to, uh, to enjoy your kissing. And for those of you who are afraid you might get fat, well, dark chocolate, 70% plus, Cacao is uh, fat burning. So I'm just going to stop this here for a moment. Uh, thank you, Madam Destiny. Uh, firstly, we uh, just don't agree with lowering blood pressure when you're trying to kiss someone because it has the opposite effect. Obviously, it does. But we have to take your advice, being because you're top blood therapists. Uh, with that in mind, um, Madam Destiny, thank you very much for coming on the show. Anything you want to close with? Please enjoy kissing. Kissing is just such a wonderful interpersonal experience with somebody you like, or somebody you love is even much better. Don't give it up when you're married and you think you're past it, or whatever. What? Try it some more and see how good and yummy it can be. Righto. Let's uh, wrap up the wrap up the segment. So thanks very much for joining us. <laughs>